My name's Jim, and I've been here for at least 40 years, and I'm the vice president and the manager of the company here, and I employ eight people. And the building we're working out of, it's an old Craig Bomb building. It used to be a tractor building here that made McCormick Deer tractors. And we've kind of modified a lot of the, the building inside here and things, but it's an old building that's been here since 1902. This unit here that we have, it's on a Mercedes and it's a 170 inch wheelbase. And these units are designed per customer and we don't know where the customer is going to be they come from all over the world to our to get our conversion the way they want it and then when we order the van we sit down with them and order with all the special options that they need to put on a van most of them are the literature and everything we send out and they can go on the internet and look Sportsmobile up and it has all these different floor plans and different things that they can cut out these cabinets and design their floor plan before they get here. But now sometimes some people really don't know how they want to design this or that and then we sit down with them and go from scratch on how to design this with the beds, with anything that they're not sure on how to do. And then they'll know exactly what the price of the conversion is and they'll know exactly how much the van costs before they leave. We order all this stuff in, where it's air conditions, generators, or what. A lot of the stuff you just see here, we, we took out of a gentleman's van that he will be wanting some of the stuff back. But basically, most of all this stuff is ordered in for what we have to do. And this is ordered in months ahead? Weeks oh ahead. yes, months ahead. So we have all of it in stock. So while, when we get ready to bring a van in, we have all the stuff right here for it. Right now we're in about November and it takes about five to six months to get the Sprinter because they've come so popular and everybody likes the four wheel drive that Sprinter has from the factory. So usually when we tell people maybe six to seven months down the road, we put them on the calendar and it usually takes that long for the unit to come in, then we'll bring their unit in and start doing their conversion. And a lot of our parts and stuff that you're seeing through here is for all of our stuff that we have to build where it's we never know what it is. We have our our microwaves, our air conditioned parts, our TVs. We just have different places to put all this type of stuff. And I usually have three people on a vehicle. I'll have two does the conversion and I'll have one that makes all my cabinets and things for me. And then we have, like I say, two units right now that we're working on. And the one that you've seen up front was uh, one already done and we're just waiting for the customer come to pick it up. So this big Ford back here, mm -hmm. this is somebody that, this isn't a new van. He no. The van. And brought it to us and, and uh, he had it shipped here to us and then we're doing the conversion. It's the older Econoline which are going to be a thing in the past. Everything now is pretty well the new Ford Transit. But this is uh, a big four-wheel drive that Quigley and things put the four-wheel drive under and we're going to put big bumpers on front and back. We're going to put a big rack on the top. It's just going to be a big monster vehicle is basically what it's going to be. And it's one of these big V10s. It's uh, kind of what I call it's going to suck some gas. <laughs> but he's going to be able to go any place he wants to. And some of the parts you're seeing here, are some of it that's going in. This is a smaller refrigerator and a lot of the hot water heater and, and some air conditioned parts that you're seeing laying on the table here that's going to be put in the unit. Because a lot of the, the cabinets have to be made in, in uh, certain stages. You just can't 
do everything at once. You gotta, we kind of get the top on first and then we just kind of go on stages and start making our cabinets to fit. Through here, we have a lot of some of our parts, hinges and oh, we just have so many different stuff that we've got to, to have. So everything's so custom. Oh yes, everything is custom made. And what you're seeing here is like, a, is a lot of our patterns that I have hanging on the walls that we use to uh, make our cabinets or whatever we have to. This van here is like I say, is, is the big four wheel drive and then we're putting like an RB50 conversion. It's like the older type Volkswagen we used to do years and years ago. And uh, we're just now putting a lot of the cabinets in and uh, the seats and things that we're doing, different flooring, the TV and uh, so Basically, it'll have the refrigerator and the microwave and the little porta potty will slide underneath here. And then we've got a lot of our wiring and the air condition we put underneath the, the seat there. All our door panels and things that we put on the outside with the day and the night shades that we put on. Little, little cubby holes in the doors for them. The four-wheel drive was done by Quigley out of Manchester, Pennsylvania. We send it to them and then they sit, bring it back to us on a truck. This is where the extra batteries are and we got an underfloor storage compartment here that we've dropped in. There we go. Because we've taken the spare tire off and it's going to be put on the back once we get the bumpers and stuff for it. So you sat down with this customer and you yeah. went through inch by inch. inch. It was everything you wanted to cover all our panels and everything like this. We have different, we buy our material in big rolls and she covers all the, the stuff for us. Door panels, you name it. This is a, a Sprinter from Mercedes. It has the low roof on it and we're putting a expandable top on and which we're gonna be doing the full conversion. What you're seeing now is a lot of the uh, channels and stuff where we've cut out and everything. And, how the top goes on. People like the, the four before from the factory. So it's pretty much you just has a template up there. We know right where to cut, cut the square out. And then we take the metal and put it outside and the people come and get it. Oh really? You can't keep it. Yeah, they like to use it in the back of their pickup trucks. <laughs> for another bed or something. And this is just different color flooring too that you're seeing here. And you're seeing a lot of wiring because it takes an awful lot of wiring to go in these units. 